G'day, welcome to Australia off the back of the New Zealand series. How did you feel after that series? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, yeah, no, it was a good series. Um, awesome preparation for us, um, kind of in the same time zones, you know, pretty similar conditions. So I think we had a, you know, not obviously the greatest start that we had with the, you know, with the 4020s and unfortunately the fifth one raining out, but I still think we have a lot of confidence coming into the World Cup and hopefully we can just continue on with that. How are you feeling about your own form coming into such a big tournament? Yeah, no, pretty confident. Um, I mean, you know, we had a good ODI series, contributed a bit there, a bit in the T20 series. So, yeah, no, definitely feeling confident. And um, I think I'm just feeding off the girls' confidence at the moment. So it's pretty cool. Excellent. Back in Australia, you've got a bit of experience over here in the WBBL. That must help. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you're yeah, having no, no, no all the conditions and you know a couple of the girls came from from the last big bash as well so we got pretty pretty good insights of what's about to happen and you know about the grounds and everything so looking forward to it um you know before we oh, before the side departed for south africa it was said that this is the first time you've got a full swing side um and you guys got to the semis um, in the previous world cup so how much how confident are you that the side can go potentially the next level to the final yeah, definitely pretty confident about it, but I mean all the teams are pretty good. You can never underestimate any team. So, and T20 is a pretty funny game, so we're going to see what's going to happen. But, you know, with the players that we have here, I think it's our best chance. So, hopefully we can just, you know, showcase showcase what we're made of and hopefully we have a good con tournament. Yeah, you mentioned the threat of the other teams. Who are the key teams that you have to look after? Yeah, I think definitely every single one. I think T20 is such a funny game and, you know, it takes one over here, one over there to change the game. So, you can't underestimate any opposition. So, it's going to be a tough tournament. And I guess a, uh, an extra little incentive to make it to the final on International Women's Day is the biggest Katy Perry concert in history. Have you got a favourite song? <laughs> um, yeah, I think Hot and Cold still stays a favourite <laughs> in one of her first ones. So yeah, that's pretty exciting and it's, I think it was a great initiative kind of to, you know, to fill the stadium and hopefully it can be a good day. Perfect. And then uh, just uh, looking at obviously a couple of warm-up games um, over the next couple of days, what are the team hoping to get out of those? I know it's uh, been previously spoken from the other players now that there's a, lot, like a few tweaks to be made from the New Zealand series. So uh, what, what would that entail? Yeah, I think definitely coming from the New Zealand series, obviously not being successful. So kind of just seeing what we can improve on, you know, coming from that um, and getting that right in the next two warm up games and obviously our combination sorting that out as well. But overall, I think we, we're in a good place as a, as a team. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to it. Perfect. Thanks. Cool. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, guys.